Hey everyone, today I'm going to try to answer the question, is a coding bootcamp still worth it in 2022? My answer is gonna be based on my own experiences as a bootcamp student and mentor, and as a developer working in the actual job market. The goal behind doing this video is that hopefully it'll answer some questions that you might have and be a guide for you as you consider whether or not a bootcamp is the right choice for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's examine the question behind this video itself, which is, is a bootcamp still worth it? And I think the emphasis is on the word worth. And when people are asking this question, I think people really wanna know, is a bootcamp going to help me get a job? So I answer this in two ways. The first answer has to do with the market and the second answer has to do with you as a person. So let's go ahead and start with the market. When people are asking this question in terms of the market, I think people wanna know, is the market for junior developers saturated? And I think the answer here is no. If you look at any of the statistics about developer jobs going unfilled, I think it's clear that there is still a demand and for developers and for technical skill in general in the job market. That said, it doesn't necessarily mean that every single opening is for a junior developer. Even if it is the case that there are fewer openings for junior developers, I don't think that's anything to worry about. I think you can distinguish yourself, and this is where we start to get into talking about you as a person. But I've talked about this before in past videos, and as a junior developer, you tend to represent risk to an employer because you haven't been vetted yet, you haven't had professional experience, and so so there's a question about whether or not you can do the actual job. One way to mitigate this risk is to show your skill through projects. Another way is to simply do really well in the interview process. But more than anything, I think the thing that will help you stand out in the interview process and also have a successful career is learning. See, the thing about boot camps is you don't know everything that you will need to know. It is a foundation. And that's what I always tell people is it's kind of a starting point. The way my first code teacher put it is that you're an advanced beginner when you graduate from a boot camp. And because that's the case, the best skill you can have for yourself isn't going to be JavaScript or React or Node. It's going to be learning how to learn. The good thing about teaching yourself how to learn and learning new skills on your own is that you can start that in boot camp. And so another metaphor from my first programming teacher is that traditional education is kind of like you're a stack of pancakes and the education is like syrup and it just gets poured on you and you passively absorb it. And that is totally not what coding is like at all. In order to learn to code, you have to actually do it. It's very much learn by doing, which probably comes unnaturally for a lot of people. I think especially for people that did well in traditional, formal and higher education like I did, it was very foreign. I was used to just showing up, saying a few things in class, writing a good paper later on, and that was it. But coding is just not like that at all, and it's a total mindset shift. The people that lean into that learning process, the people that are the most curious by nature, and the people that are more concerned with skill acquisition than with passing the boot camp, always do better, always, always, always. And I, unfortunately, was one of those people that was more concerned with passing the boot camp, and it ended up hurting me in the long run. So if you do end up doing a boot camp, I would encourage you to focus on the skill acquisition. That is something that you can start as soon as you start coding that can continue with you throughout your career. And it is the thing that will distinguish you in the job market, even if you're a junior. And this brings us to ways that people can go wrong in a boot camp. So I mentioned one mistake is focusing more on passing the boot camp than on acquiring skills. There are a few other ways that people can go wrong, and I wanted to touch on those just so you can be aware of them and hopefully avoid them. So the first way that people go wrong is not asking for help and kind of getting trapped in this spiral of shame. So with programming, it's easy to feel like everybody else gets it and I'm behind, especially if you're maybe like middle of the pack in your cohort. I think that's totally okay. But something I noticed when I went through coding bootcamp and something I've seen in other people as well is it's easy to get overwhelmed and try and dig yourself out of a hole instead of just asking for help. So I would say ask for help not too early, hopefully. It's important to learn to struggle on your own and to Google things. Googling things is a really important skill as a developer, but you also don't wanna be just struggling and struggling forever, especially if someone could point you in the right direction that would help you get unblocked. 
So the other end of the spectrum is also not really a place where you wanna be, and that is where you use your cohort mates or your instructor as a crutch. So I just mentioned not asking for help can be a liability. It can also be a liability if you ask for help too quickly, because it's important to develop the problem solving skills that will hopefully be with you throughout your whole career, where you can unblock yourself and get yourself unstuck. Learning to Google is a really important part of being a developer. Learning to ask the right questions is a really important part of being a developer. And so I would also encourage you not to ask for help too soon. This is a little bit of an intuition you need to develop, but I think it's something worth investing in. The point is don't ask for help too soon, don't ask for help too late, and hopefully you'll be somewhere in the middle there. A third way people go wrong is using the bootcamp as a source of motivation. So I've heard of people really struggling to teach themselves to code and then hoping that the structure of a bootcamp will magically motivate them. I do think the structure of a bootcamp can be really helpful if you just need some kind of direction and you've been struggling a lot on your own, but it can't inherently motivate you. I think that really has to come from within. You have to have a pre-existing interest in this field and if you don't then I think things are just going to be really hard. The promise of a well-paying job down the line is not really enough to get you through those hard times when you're just banging your head against the keyboard. So I would really examine yourself and ask what is my motivation? Do I actually like coding? Because a boot camp is really going to reveal that to you and it's an expensive way to find out that you don't actually like this. So I would encourage you to try coding beforehand and really just do some reflection on what your motivations are for going to a bootcamp. In closing, I think coding bootcamp is a lot like traditional college in the sense that you get out what you put into it. If you go in just wanting to pass, not really wanting to struggle, not really wanting to learn, then you probably won't have learned that much by the time you get through if you get through it all. But if you go into it with a curiosity, a willingness to learn and to embrace the process and embrace suffering, then I think you'll go really far and those are things that will serve you throughout your career. Those are my thoughts on Coding Bootcamp in 2022 and whether or not it's still worth it. Of course, you need to do your own research and I'm not endorsing any one bootcamp in particular, but I'll put some links in the description below that will help you do research if that's the kind of thing you're interested in doing and if you think this path might be a good one for you. Thanks for watching to the end. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and career development. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.